I'm Jonathan Edwards, the first man to jump 18 meters in the triple jump. It's an event with four distinct parts. The hop, the step, the jump, of course, but don't forget the run-up. For me, the key in this event is creating speed and then maintaining it. First, you need to be a sprinter. My run-up was always 18 strides long, and it was flat-out acceleration right from the start, trying to create the maximum velocity that I could control at takeoff, and never looking down to try and place my foot on the board, because that would change my body position and make me lose speed. Maintaining a stable, upright body position through the three phases of the triple jump is really important. Whenever your foot hits the ground, it becomes a pivot around which your center of gravity rotates. And if it rotates too much, you end up in a bad position and lose speed. One of the things I did during 1995 when I broke the world record was to use a double arm action, which brought my center of gravity back a little bit and helped me to control that rotation. It made a huge difference. When your body position is stable, this allows your legs and your feet to work effectively underneath you. And here, particularly, the speed of your foot contact on the ground is crucial. Because the longer you're in contact with the ground, the more speed you lose. When I was jumping well, this for me was like a bounce rather than a distinct landing then takeoff. A bit like a stone skipping across the water. So that is how to triple jump, one of the most complicated disciplines in athletics, and when done well, beautiful to watch.